Hey guys, and thanks so much for joining me for another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Stephanie. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. I've got a bit of a shorter video uh, dinner-wise for you guys this week, but they are still super delicious recipes. And I'll show you guys how I make them. All right, guys. So tonight's dish is going to be like something that totally brings me back home to my childhood, to like growing up in South Florida. This is going to be ropa vieja with tostones, and I'm going to show you how to make it. All right, so first off, I'm basically gonna take everything you saw on that board and dump it in my slow cooker. Everything except for the plantains and the oil that will come later. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get my meat and everything going in the slow cooker. I use flank steak. You can totally use like the steak that you use, like, um, or not steak, like the stew beef, like anything that will give you a good shred in the crock pot is perfect. So you just wanna make sure everything is really getting nice and incorporated with each other and you're really liberally seasoning this. This is such a flavorful dish. It is like really like a staple, like one of my comfort foods. I know that like for some people it's like mac and cheese or like biscuits and gravy, but for me it's like, this is definitely it. One of my definite favorites. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and put this in your slow cooker on slow or slow, oh my gosh, on low for six to eight hours or high um, for four to six. So I've taken my meat out, shredded it, and put it back in the sauce to sit for a while. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start on the tostones. I have um, cut my plantains in about like half inch to three fourths of an inch thick, and I'm frying them for about two minutes on each side. Um, this is something that one of my best friends um, growing up is Puerto Rican and his family is like family to me and so his sister actually taught me how to make tostones and she taught me how to cook like a lot of different um, Puerto Rican dishes that I even know how to make is definitely from her and his family like they were always like so open and like so welcoming with their culture to me. Unfortunately, she's no longer with us. Her name is Regina, and she is just like a light, and we all loved her so much. And when I make food like this, it makes me think of her and all the good times we had together because she was such an amazing cook, and she loved having family together and eating with everybody. And so, again, you know, like food is really like transcendent in that sense where it can bring back like such great memories, and it's just awesome. So, um, <laughs> let me not get emotional, but it's really great and so anyways i'm showing you guys that when they're browned on one side i'm gonna flip them over and let them go for a minute on the other side and then i'll show you guys what i do with them next All right, so in South Florida, they have those little these little mashers for plantains everywhere in every store. Even in the Publix, they have them. They do not have them here in North Carolina, so I'm just using the bottom of a mason jar. How very North Carolina of me. And I'm just smashing them all up, and then we're gonna go ahead and fry them once more. All right, so we're just looking for a little bit of brown on these. It won't be as long as the first time, probably less than a minute. And I'll turn them and then drain those. Salt them immediately, immediately. Put them on a paper towel and salt them so they'll be like super flavorful and crispy and delicious. Oh, so good. I love this meal. Alright guys, this is it. I've just served this over some white rice and chopped up some cilantro and sprinkled it over top. I got my tostones hanging out on the back there. I love dipping them in the sauce and it's just oh, it's so good. So flavorful, so delicious and it just reminds me of home and it's like comforting and I just absolutely love it. And I love the memories associated with it. It's just such a good meal. I really hope that you can whip this up for your family and they will love it too.
All right, guys, and then the last uh, recipe I'm gonna make here is some chicken linguine with some Alfredo sauce and some veggies. Just a heads up, I did not use the whipping cream, so just disregard that and let's get started. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get my chicken started in the pan here. With a little bit of olive oil, I'm gonna season it up and let it go until it gets brown before I add in my other veggies. All right, and now that I've got my onions and peppers in the pan, I'm gonna go ahead and give those a seasoning as well. A seasoning, like I'm gonna season them. But um, yeah, I'm gonna mix those up and let them keep going until they get um, nice and cooked down like that, as you see there. I'm adding in a little bit of water to kind of free them from the bottom of the pan, as well as get up the brown bits from the chicken and veggies that have kind of cooked down there. And then I'm gonna add in my garlic once I feel like my onions and peppers have cooked down enough. I'm gonna let that go in the pot, um, or in the pan here, until it's like fragrant. And then I'm gonna add in my Alfredo sauce, and I'm gonna fill the jar about halfway up with some water, give it a good shake, and get it down in the pan. I'm gonna stir this up really well, and then I'm gonna let it set um, and keep like on a like low boil, like low simmer until my pasta is done. And then once it's close to the end, I'm gonna add in the rest of my spinach or all of my spinach. All right, so instead of adding some water from the pasta pot to kind of like um, thin this out a little bit and make it extra saucy, I'm just taking my spaghetti straight out of the pot. I didn't drain it. I'm just taking it out of the pot with a little like pasta fork thing <laughs> and mixing it in and that got enough water in there from the pasta pot to make this like just the right amount of saucy. Alright guys, this is it. It is so super delicious and so incredibly easy like you guys saw. It also takes barely any time. This is definitely an under 30 minute dish. Definitely a quick go to for us and very flavorful all at the same time. Definitely recommend you guys make this dish. It is like perfect for a weeknight. All right guys, so since this was a shorter video dinner wise, I thought I would add in a little bit of a bonus for you. This is my empty house tour. I didn't think that I had enough like momentum to be doing this as a separate video, but I did have a few of you mention on my community tab when I talked about it that you would love to see the empty house tour. So I figured since I'm short on meals, I would just show you guys my house. So we are moving, which is why I am short on meals. And um, so I decided like, hey, let's go ahead and show you guys my empty house so that's what i'm going to be doing also tamara who is i guess my soul sister in the moving time because she's also moving too she's going to be doing a video like this where she's showing you her empty house tour so definitely go ahead and check her out i will link her below but uh yeah so let's go ahead and take a look at my new house all right so i thought i'd start you guys off at the front we got this like super cute window here and then my first house purchase was this plant and it has a super cool name and I don't remember what it is I got it from little or Lytle or whatever you want to call it what is this called Madagascar dragon tree so super exciting name and I think it's cute I think it will cute with my uh, rocking chairs my mom got these for me for a housewarming gift so we got them delivered here um, and then I will show you the inside of the house okay so walking in we have one of these like fun, like window door things, which is awesome. And then this is our dining area. We haven't moved in yet. Um, I just had things delivered here. So we do have some stuff in our house. Um, we couldn't get movers until the middle of the month, unfortunately, because of coronavirus, like scheduling constraint situation. So. We're chilling in kind of an empty house, <laughs> um, but we still have our house until the end of uh, this month. So 
Anyway, this is another purchase of ours. We wanted a, a nice dining room table to fit this space. And what's really cool is that it has like the leaf on the inside so it extends. So I'm super excited about that. I also have, I opened the little blind thing, I have this like super gorgeous window in here, which I love. I don't love <laughs> that like thing that I just pulled up. So I'm gonna just put some curtains here and just pretend like that's not there. So then looking into like from the dining room, the little Hobby Lobby welcome sign, pretty sure everybody has one. I just don't know how to like secure it quite yet because it keeps blowing down in the wind. So if you guys have any um, ideas or tips on how to like secure this bad boy right here, let me know. Um, but yeah, so this is like tiled the entrance. I don't know why they did that. <laughs> I'm renting so I can't change it. But um, yeah, so it's a little entrance. I kind of want to put a little table like right over there. And I think it'll be cute when you first walk in. So I was originally thinking bench, but I don't think there's enough room for that. But tell me what you guys think. So then walking in from there, we have just like a closet here. I guess I can show you guys if you're interested. We have this like closet here. So probably put like our cleaning and like coats or whatever in there. And then this is the living room slash kitchen area. This is what, and I know I'm echoing so bad, I'm sorry. Um, this is what sold me on the house. I love this huge open area. So there's stuff all over the counters. Please bear with me because <laughs> we're moving in and we're trying to move things ourselves in. So those are our um, trash cans right now. <laughs> but um, we're just trying to clean up and stuff like that. So this is the super huge counter area. Absolutely love it. Um, stove, microwave, just, there's a plug up there for Christmas and Halloween and everything I wanna put up there, so it's gonna be awesome. These cabinets are humongous. Another thing that I loved, I'll show you in the inside. This is crazy, and I'm short, so really, I can pretty much only reach like comfortably these two, and then like maybe if, I need to get a step ladder <laughs> to reach these. And I need a regular ladder to reach that, but that's what I have Josh for. So super huge. Let me open the other one for you. Yeah, oh, good lord. Well, hello, surprise, that happens. But anyways, so this is um, the cabinets and then super awesome. I'll show you guys the like cabinet drawer things on the bottom, they're awesome. Okay, so this is how you know like you've arrived in the kitchen-ness. Um, <laughs> Maybe not, I'm just excited. Look how cool these are, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so pumped. I love these. We already brought some of our stuff in like what we can carry, we're taking to the uh, place here. So this is super awesome. I love these, I'm so impressed. Oh, I just love it. I'm so happy that these are in here. Um, we have another set on the other side of the kitchen, but um, yeah, super, duper, duper exciting. Um, I just love all this space. It is so great because it looks out to the living room and her last house had the worst flow ever. So I'm like obsessed with this area here. Um, I also, I've never, I've seen these in people's houses before, but I never had one. So I don't know what I would put there. If you have something like this in your house, let me know what you put in there. <laughs> I don't know like what you're supposed to, Put there I guess but let me know and then also super awesome and super youtuber e they have like oh, they have lights installed under the cabinet which is so cool have to replace that one it's a little crazy but I was so excited about this I was like yes this is awesome I didn't realize this until after I moved in so definitely a perk these are so super cute this is another thing that we had that we got delivered and I'll show you these from this side. They're gorgeous, I love them. I got them on Facebook Marketplace for a super steal. When I was looking for these, like on Wayfair, it was like a hundred and something dollars for like a pair, and I ended up getting these brand new on uh, Facebook Marketplace for 125 for all four of them. So super steal, super deal, very excited. I love them and they're super comfortable and everyone else is gonna love sitting on them, so yay! Um, so, and this is looking into the kitchen, 
that's our, um, what do you call it, our pantry. And then they're supposed to switch out that fridge. God knows when that's gonna happen, but it's fine for now. Um, so it can like match the rest of the appliances. But you know, that's renting, whatever. <laughs> like when they get to it, they get to it. The fridge works for now, so we're fine. Um, that's the garage door over there. And then this is where the laundry is. Nothing super excited in here, um, just to put machines. And there's a little storage rack on top. And then the garage, which I'm also super excited to have. Um, so how do I, so we have like, it, oh, it's really dark, hold on. Okay, so this is like, we haven't decided how we're gonna play this garage situation. Um, we have like my decor stuff in here for now and then some benches that I bought. Um, and then we decided to do this with our larger appliances because they take up so much space on the counters and stuff. So we just ended up getting this. I believe it was, mm, I think it was like $17. And we got it from Home Depot and it fits everything perfectly. And we live in North Carolina, it gets hot, but I'm from South Florida. So I know what really like real heat is. So I think that these should be fine in the, um, what do you call it, in the garage. But let me know if you guys have had any issues putting your like little appliances in the garage and then we're gonna have to rethink that. So back in the living room area, um, we have two super pretty windows here that I forgot to open. So this is our backyard and then we have like a little slab off to the left there and I think that Minnie will love being able to run around, which is a big reason we moved as well to give her a nice little yard to run in. So, so the first room, is kind of like on the smaller side. This is probably gonna be like the office slash Josh's game room um, because he used to have the loft upstairs. So that's what we're gonna do with this room. There is a good size closet in here, which is great for all of my crafting stuff. But yeah, so this is, um, you know, nothing special, just a regular room. And then let's go into the other room. This is gonna be what our guest room is because I know we can fit. We have a queen size for our guest bedroom and I know we'll be able to fit it in here. <laughs> so this will be the guest room. We have um, a little closet back there and just normal, you know, standard window and everything. Super pretty view, very, very nice. This is the guest bathroom. Nothing super impressive in here. Just normal, you know, bathroom E stuff. Um, I have not decided on any sort of theme yet for my house, so I'm excited to start decorating and do all the fun stuff that comes with moving into a new house. All right, so the last room of the tour, well, I guess it'll be our bathroom, will be the last room, but this is our room. It is super huge and spacious, which is awesome. There's my robo vacuum, Bruce, he died, so I have to plug him in, um, but this is our room which is super great to have a fan. We need fans. So super excited that we have a fan in our room because um, <laughs> we get hot at night. So yeah, it's like really, really good space here, which is also awesome because um, the place we're renting now, not cool. I hated our last place, if you can't tell. So um, this is super cool. So we have a closet here and literally the closet in the place we came from was smaller than this one here. And then if we do a magical spin, there's a bigger closet here. So I've already started moving in like some of my like memento -y boxes. I obviously have a problem. Like I'm super sentimental and keep everything. So that's my problem. Last room in the house is our bathroom. We have like the double sinks and we have a really nice nice shower. So I'm super excited for that. And there's like a nice bathtub. I am not a bath taker because I rent and I don't know, it just seems unsanitary. I just don't ever think I can get that tub clean enough <laughs> to feel comfortable to take a bath in there. But um, it is really pretty, it's really nice. And I love the window up there because it's like pretty, it lets a natural light, but it's not like too low. So I'm not like worried anyone's gonna like see me taking a shower or whatever. But uh, yeah, so shower, I don't know who lived here or owned this house but they may have been like older because there's like safety bars on everything like there's a safety bar over there too which is good because i'm clumsy so low key <laughs> and the toilet is over here 
and we have this humongous linen closet you guys i'm crying this is fabulous i've already started putting some towels in there and it's just awesome because it's gonna have room for our hampers to go um in there and then like all of our extra linens can go in there and i'm super pumped about that so yeah that is the tour all right guys that's gonna do it for me for this video i hope you didn't mind my little sidetrack into my empty house tour um i hope you guys got some really good dinner inspiration from this video because i love both of the meals that i made so much if you did like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up let me know your thoughts in the comments below and definitely subscribe for more i hope you guys all have a blessed awesome and safe week you guys i'm praying for all of you out there these are some really rough times we're going through right now so i have all y'all in my heart and i love you guys and i just hope that you guys have a great weekend and spend it with your family and loved ones and i'll talk to you guys later bye